this is another day being at um, Bui. I'm currently at the Bui um, National Park Residence where I'm lodging in the guest house just behind me. Coming to Bui was to just see the, the Bui Dam and then just continue to a different place because I was coming from New Longro, which is um, a town in the Bono East region, just a uh, boundary with Bamboy, which is in the Savannah region. Driving about 30 minutes to the Bui Dam, um, I then saw a sign that said Bui National Park. Initially, I'd seen it somewhere, but I didn't know it was like a fully operational park where you could even have tour services to go see it. So I decided to, you know, out of curiosity, just come see where they have their headquarters and I decided to just make some inquiries um, about what they do as well as, yes, what they do. Yeah, so I continued to the headquarters. I, I didn't even spend any time at um, the dam. The dam, there's a bridge on top of the black water where when you stand there, you can have a view or a sight of the dam where you can take some pictures. So I didn't really get a chance to go into the dam, but when I got there, I decided to continue to the uh, national park because I was, I was looking for it to move. Because on their signboard, I could see that they had hippos, that's hippopotamus. They have um, a cave. Um, they also have a bed, watching site, as well as the sunset, sunrise site, among others. So I got here. I met um, one gentleman. Um, we had a very good conversation about the place. I introduced myself as well as a YouTuber. So making videos on of, of, of places and um, you know things that I come by in the rest on YouTube. So I told them about what I do, and I'd really be interested in making a video about what they have over here, especially the experience and the rest. So they are also very much excited about it because um, during the construction of the dam, there was a lot of perception that the park has been dissolved, which is not true. So trying to revamp. Um, um, the, the, the park especially in terms of advertisement and the rest or having tourists come had been a little bit challenging by the time things are trying to pick up so also um, sharing you know my visit here and the rest probably might also help with that so they agreed for me to have a two day stay here and then take me around show me what they have here as well as um, I'm going to be fortunate to get a tour to the the dam itself the dam is not part of it's, it's not within their jurisdiction so they are just in charge of the park the dam is under bpa that is Bui power authority so being here also i decided to take the chance to not just um, do an experience at um of the park and the rest but also try to work within a community or go into the community learn something about how the community came by why their houses are almost the same, where they came from to settle here, how it's been like and the rest. So that is in a different video where it's a very lengthy one where I got like very, very quality and detailed information about the Bui Township and um, yeah, and it's, um, you know, whatever they do within it. Aside that also, I took upon myself to not just focus on Bui because I've come to Bui but also when I was driving towards Bui I did pass by a town known as Jama and there was a school there that behind the school there was this rocky mountain or rocky hill which was like you know filled with a lot of rock which looked very interesting so I also took the chance to go see that I had a chance to you know uh, climb up there to go be on top and then even did some drone shots of the place aside that uh, I know that if I'm able to make a video of um, Bui National Park, a lot of people or a lot of you out there will definitely be interested in visiting here. Now, coming to visit here, especially if you're coming from the southern part of Ghana, that is from Accra, Volta, um, Eastern, Central, you might be interested in accommodation. So yesterday, I decided to take it upon myself to also go search for places where you could lodge when you come to Bui because Bui from Accra it's it's about 10 hours drive I'm sure I haven't really checked but I'm supposing it's likely going to be around that so that when you come here it won't be difficult to have a place to um, lodge as part of that also will also be place or somewhere you could get something to eat 
so yesterday we did that we went around a um, couple of guest house i didn't come by four guest house that uh within or that's uh, close by the national park the guest house here is currently under renovation so it's not so much like open to the public yet but i'm sure with time or maybe after I view this video could uh, it might be open to public so yeah uh, that's it's also going to be a different video where you um, you have sort of a guided um, short tour on a couple of guest houses that are around um, the places that they are located at and what they offer over there I also try to list all those places on the map so you are able to search for them and even have like um, a location or a route from wherever you are to those places now aside that me being very fortunate the tour guide who was assigned to me told me a lot about like the communities around he gave me like he, he's been very very um good he's very not he's very knowledgeable very very like he's given me lots of insight about so many things his name is peter he's been here for 22 years so you can just imagine and he was also uh he also lived <clears throat> as part of the Bui township from where they used to be before they had to resettle here so he's been very very helpful so he took me to the jama in siano now jama is a nearby town which happens to be in the um, savannah region so here is bono region that's a savannah region so their boundary or their boundary point is where they have the bridge where the dam is located so he took me to jama in siano um, where a lot of traders come to buy fishes both smoked and fresh fish because i was i learned that a lot of people do come from far behind the mountains like people settle over there their means of transport only means of transport is through their boats or the canoes to come to the other side so they smoke some of their fishes and then they bring it ashore for people to buy and then you know they sell to um, people so yes i had a chance to be there and then i witnessed a lot of myself i was fortunate yesterday because yesterday was a market day today is also friday and today is also a market day over there but i'm not going to go there because i've already been there so we did that and then after that I had a chance to also go to their market to see how activities goes on in their market. Of, I must admit that their market was a bit chaotic, or is chaotic, just as every market here in Accra. You have a lot of people, um, you know, going in and there. You smell all sort of um, things. Yes, because it's a marketplace, so that's very, very much understandable. So, I had experience at the market as well. And then from there, when we're driving back towards um, the base station, or that is here, I saw one lady who was weaving kente or fugu, or it's known as smoke. Yes, yeah, so, and uh, I got interested. So I decided to go off and then got close to her to see what she was doing, as well as to be able to give a little bit education to what she was doing. That is the weaving. So, uh, that's also going to be in a different video where you get to watch on how she was going about everything how long she's been doing it and yes apparently she's among a few people who do weaving it's not the community is not known for weaving so yes but i was very much excited to see what she was doing she was even teaching other young ones i met two young ladies who were also learning from her which felt very exciting to at least see that you know people um with in their own small ways or small means are also helping or transferring knowledge to other people so we did that um yesterday and then we also went to see the sunset and i must admit it was very beautiful so there's a spot on top of a hill where you get to sit um enjoy a very nice or beautiful views of the sun setting or settling behind a mountain it was a bit hazy or it's been very um a little bit hazy because of the hamatan but reflection of the sun on the water was just priceless i did a little time lapse of that experience as well which you might see in a different video but you just see excerpts of that um, from this video so basically there's uh, some of the things or these are a few things i've had a chance to do or experience um so far over here tomorrow hopefully uh, which is saturday um is when i'm actually going to take a proper tour to the park i haven't done that yet because there is a group that will be going to the park so i don't want to stress the tour guide yet i'm waiting so that i go with the group together and then we have you know a beautiful experience over there i uh, will be doing the boat ride to see the hippos that's that's like my top top 
um, experience I'm looking forward to, which I can't just wait. So that is going to um, be one of the things which is going to happen tomorrow. And then also, I learned there's a different group going to see the dump site early tomorrow morning. So I get to join them and get to see where I've been yet and or the main reason why I came yeah, that's led me to other things. I get to see that and hopefully if I'm allowed, I'm able to do some drone shots of the place. So this is me at um, Bono region. So there's a Bono East region, that's the capital is Tichiman. There's a Bono region or is it Bronga half, a Bono, yeah, I think Bono half or Bronga half or Bono, yeah. Um, which is the capital is Sunyane and then there's Savannah, which the capital is Damango. So this is just a quick, um, overview about my experience so far here at the Puno region and the things I've done and the things I'm looking forward to do so if you ever have or you ever get a chance to come to the Bono region um, I must admit that there are so many things I can do there are so many things you can see so it shouldn't just be about a park you should try as much as possible to visit some of these places that I have mentioned especially the market um, as well as the uh, Jama and Siano where they do the, the fishing and then trading of um, yes fishing fishes and the rest so oh one important thing also so yesterday when I was at um, the Jama and Siano where they do the fishing I I met a couple of um, military personnel over there because I was going to fly the drone it was very important for me to make them aware that I had a drone I was going to fly so that it doesn't look like a suspicious um, or so it, like yeah, it doesn't look like a suspicious activity going on and then probably might shoot the drone down so I spoke to them, they were very much excited that you know they didn't even know that there was a place that had people but they must, you can just imagine so we had a very good conversation about that and interestingly I met a friend of mine um, was it Hassan, yes so um he I, mean, I knew him like since 2013 yeah to 2015 that about we, uh, we had a chance to attend a program at Kempa together for like two years yeah i met him over there he even made me out and called me it was you know such a very small world so i met a friend over there we once exchanged contact again yes and then we continued our journey so this is just a quick highlight of my trip so far to the Bono east region i'm looking forward to share more with you so sit back, relax, and look forward to tons of content from my stay over here. So that will be about it for this video. In case you are new to this channel, as usual, I'll plead with you to subscribe, to join the wonderful family, and very importantly, you should also hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get a notification, you get to watch it, or see it before anyone else. So that will be about it for now. Thank you very much for watching.